Well, greetings lads and lasses. I'm back out for another fishing trip. And if you do enjoy the videos, do take time to give them a thumbs up. Perhaps give, drop a comment, drop a like, drop me a message. Um, I'm always available on my Instagram page on Fishing for Memories. Anyway, what are we doing this evening? We are going to do some, hopefully, a spot of chub, a spot of barbel would be nice. Either of those would be very pleasurable. Anyway, so what are we using on the main rod? Now this is the Advanta Discovery River Ambush RVS. This is a seven foot rod, one and three quarter Tesco, cheap as chips, range between 22 and 26 pounds. Bargain-tastic, really wonderful rods. Perfect for getting in pokey swims, although this particular swim probably could do with a longer rod and it isn't overly pokey, but it's a very good rod in general to get on my bike. It fits on the crossbar, lovely. Anyway, that's been paired with a Shimano bait runner DL 2500F, I think it's FB, yeah, FB. That's loaded with 12 pounds Shimano Technium Invisitec. It's a very reliable line and one that I'd stake my life on for abrasion resistance and snags and being able to hold up in snags. Now running down from there, got a simple low resistance running rig, quick change, that's a Gardner target. So if I, the way that's done is plastic, so the gate will stretch and break open if I get snagged. Along from there, we've got a Drennan or ESP, or I think it's Drennan, Drennan gravel braid, and that's um, running down to there. Simple little Dinsmore gravel shot, egg shot there to pin it down. Helps turn the hook over a bit more, add a bit of weight when the fish picks the bait up and shakes its head. From there, nice simple, simple kicker, and very nice if I can get it off. These, I've stopped using the HOS tackle ones, I've got to be honest guys, I had a carp on one of them, it could have just been a faulty hook, they've been brilliant for me, but the HOS ones, I had one of those break on me while I was playing a carp, wasn't best pleased, it can happen with any hook, all hooks are mass produced, so, but you know what it is, it's a confidence thing. So, someone did say to me to try these, and that is the ESP Cryogen Grippers, that's a size 7, and I've got to say, I've been using them for a couple of trips now and they've not let me down and they've not been blunting so yeah really happy with those not the cheapest of hooks not they run about three pound 85 four pound or as high as four pound 70 i think if you don't shop about for them um, but then again they are very good hooks anti-glare low low glare teflon coated and really really a tip on them that don't seem to burr over even in snags so that's um the setup nice and simple as i say low resistance is the following that's the mainline 50 50 base mix i've got that mixing a healthy amount of hydrosolate i say healthy not too overbearing because that on its own it's too strong a scent trail can act as a deterrent to fish and a warning signal just nice and subtle but you can smell it you know what i'm saying i'm going to be matching those up and wrapping those up in matching paste i'm going to put a little bit of ground bait in and um following I'm not going to be using all that but I'm going to put a little bit of that in and that is the mainline margin mix and that's mixed with a little bit of hemp a little bit of birdseed anyway that's the bare bones of it I'm going to fish into darkness obviously I've just come down it's gone 8 30 I'm going to fish into small hours hopefully we'll get our string well and truly tugged and if not as a good friend always says You've gone fishing, you decided to go fishing, and you made it down on the bank, and that on its own is an achievement. Well, it's a lovely evening, all set up. Got mosquitoes trying to eat me alive. And I've got to admit, I've already got crayfish on the bait. So hopefully the barbel will move in or the chub and push them out the way. But time will tell. It's a beautiful evening. Wonderful to be bankside yet again and being able to bring you guys another Fishing for Memories video. Anyway, I'm gonna get the light switched off the swim and um, yeah, hopefully next time I see you guys, we'll be connected to a fish, at least. 
we can hope. We're in, guys. Chub and a nice looking one too. In you go. Lovely. Oh, nice too. Well, there we go. Wonderful little scrap. Beautiful summer chewing. Five pound exactly. And you can quite see she's quite hollow for that weight. Give her some time, autumn time and winter, and she'll be filled well out. But very happy with this. It's been a bit of a tricky trip, but I did have the crayfish in the swim, and then they went quiet, and I did have two really good taps. So I knew, as per usual, either chub or barb or fish in general had moved in and pushed the craze out. Well, alas, it's got to that part of the trip where it is the end of a particular fishing trip. It's been tricky at the start of the trip. I was getting crayed more or less straight away. So I gave it 45 minutes, or the best part of 45 minutes to an hour, and then checked the bait because I just knew that they would have taken the boily and whittled the paste off and taken the, the hair stop. And yes, I wasn't wrong. I wound in and it was all gone, including the hair stop, something that I'm well, well versed in for the many years that I've been fishing the southern rivers with all the crayfish issues. Um, so there's two schools of thought with that. You either up sticks and move to where the fish might be or you introduce a little bit more feed and recast just slightly off that area and try and get the crayfish to move maybe onto the feed and at the same time try and draw the fish into your spot, which did happen. Um, the crayfish disappeared and went all quiet. I had two walloping knocks, boom, boom, like that. And it went all quiet for literally, must have been an hour. And uh, then all of a sudden the rod's torn off that lovely five pound summer chevin wherein it's really kind of hollow flank i tell you what i reckon that's a six pound fish or if not a bit bigger than that come winter time it's very hollow beautiful brassy enameling to it wonderful to capture especially on a tricky trip where it's been tough with the crayfish but yeah it's a pity to be packing up really but i have got to be heading home so i hope you've enjoyed this short video and um yeah as I say, if you've got any queries or any comments, drop them below. I do try to answer any questions, sensible ones. <laughs> and if you want to message me on Instagram, you can always do so at Fishing for Memories. But I hope you've enjoyed this short video. And until my next one, do take care, guys. Tight lines. Goodbye.